What I have here on my soldering station, there's a couple of things that you absolutely need. Of course, we're going to need some solder. Uh, this is lead-free solder, electronic solder that I'm using. And I really recommend that you just grab one of these from the dollar store. It's just like a wire mesh uh, for cleaning, but it's great for cleaning the tip of your hot soldering iron. If you get some solder on there, you're going to uh, be able to clean that off really, really easily. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're going to need a soldering iron as well, which I've got heating up right now. And what happens is we end up with uh, a, a PCB. Now, I'm using just a blank PCB prototyping board for the sake of the demonstration. Um, but you're going to end up with things like uh, circuit boards that you have to be able to solder the headers onto. And it can be really, really tricky. I mean, you can try to use helping hands and put that on there. But, you know, what do you what do? You do? Like, it's all wobbly. It's going to fall all over the place. And it's really, really hard. And that, so then you try to hold it. And you're trying to hold solder. And you're trying to solder it like this. <laughs> and you're burning yourself. Oh, and no. it's, it's just a mess. So... My little tip for you here, and one of my little tricks, is to grab yourself a pack like this. Uh -huh. And this box is just a box full, which you're never going to be able to close. I'm going to tell you what. Once you've bought it and opened it, you're never going to be able to close it again. It just comes with a whole bunch of prototyping boards. It comes with some headers. And these are great for, like, just to add to your kit anyways. But what you can do with that is... Grab a little bit of glue and glue a header onto your circuit board and then solder the other edge, um, the, the back end. And then cre uh, do the opposite header. So we've got two types of headers here. We've got a female and a male. Okay, so I've put them on there like this for a reason. So this, now it just looks like a useless PCB, but it's in fact a really great tool for me to solder headers. So now, if we were to pretend that I, I've got a circuit board here that has arrived in the mail that I've ordered off of wherever, off of Amazon or wherever I've ordered my PCB from, and it came with, let's say, this header here. This is pretty common. So we've got this, this header that is going to allow me to plug this into uh, whatever else, or maybe it's got a Raspberry Pi header that's going to allow me to put this onto a Raspberry Pi. So, well, how do I solder that on? So, my little trick here with my board that I've created, which is a very, very helpful tool, I'm going to take a header like this and plug it in. Then I'm going to take a header like this and plug it in. And what that does is it gives me a stable place to be able to do my soldering. So now I've got my circuit board, and remember, what we're actually soldering on here is this guy, okay? So in this particular example, and this is just an example, okay? Uh, I'm going to plug this into my header, and now I've got a nice solid place to put my board. The reason that I've placed this here too is because, and the reason that I've got this soldered on here is because now I've got a stable standoff to be able to put my PCB on so that it's not going to wobble, all right? So it's a little bit of a hacky little trick, but now when I put my PCB on, let's, let's do something crazy. Let's put it on like this, and we're going to pretend that that's the way that this particular PCB is going to go. So you see what I've done is I've actually put the headers on here so that, I, so that they're sticking out, and these headers are also sticking out of the board. Maybe they won't be, and you can adjust that as needed, but it's basically just giving me something to stand it on so that it's going to sit nice and solid. So now, with that on there, I don't have to monkey with any glue or anything like that. I can just kind of put something up against it, and it gives nice support. So now, all I have to do is we're going to heat up the... What I'm going to do, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to be going from left to right. The reason I want to do that is if I start on the right, I'm going to be moving left, and I'm going to be still heating up these joints on the right. Mm -hmm. I want to move from my left to my right because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you're going to do the exact opposite. My soldering iron is good and hot. I've got it set to 400 degrees Celsius right now. So I'm going to start on my left-hand side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the kind of where the PCB meets the, uh, the pin, and I'm not using flux here today, but you may want to use flux if this is a electronics PCB. Um, if, if you think it's needed, it's not always needed. In this case, we, we don't really need it uh, because we're going to be very, very quick. And part of this is being quick. So I want to get this in here and I want to touch it in there to get heat to the joint and then very quickly touch my solder and then lift up. 
okay? So that creates a really nice joint right there. So now this is connected to that header. Now I'm gonna move to the next one, heat it up, put the solder in there right at the corner where it's touching and lift up. And now I've got a really nice joint right there next to it. I'm gonna do the same over here. This is why we don't need flux. I'm not gonna be touching here for any longer. Now my solder got stuck there. You see what happened? Oh yeah. I'm bringing that now back into the camera. So, oh, no. so you, did you see how I very quickly got my soldering iron out of there? Because I don't want to damage the board. I don't want to oxidize it or cause any problems. So now I've got mm. this problem where I've got this solder stuck to it. So all I need to do is just really quickly, now that it's cooled, I'm going to just touch there and bring that solder out of there. Oh, nice. And now start again and get it in there and boom. And what I'm doing is I'm lifting up to be able to get an, a really nice soldering joint there. All right, so now I'm going to grab here. Again, touching the corner where, they, where the two surfaces meet. And bringing my solder in and lift. Final joint. Heating it up just a little bit for just a couple of seconds. And lift. And now I'm going to get in here and show you the joints. Oh. Where are they? Where are we? Here so we go. Closer, closer. Oh, oh. Uh, and focus. Nice. Oh, nice. So there you go. So you do have some really good contacts. So you see how these ones I've not soldered. These are just standoffs just for support. So now when I lift this off, now my headers are perfectly attached wow. to no this PCB. Okay. So this is just a great little tool to create and use. And then I'm going to be able to solder these a lot more easily. Mm -hmm. Huh. Real quick, no flux necessary in this particular case. If now I might have wanted some flux because I got a little bit hot on the one joint there, uh, but uh, as long as you're careful, you should be okay. Uh, if you do need a little bit of flux, so if, if you're finding that, hey, maybe that joint uh, was getting a little bit too hot, I could add a little bit of flux to that just because my solder uh, is a flux resin core. Uh, rosin core. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna help things there. So there you go. That is. Super Looks cool. Good. Nice and solid? Yes. Nice.